Hey fans, we're out here um, 40 miles north of the closest town up in Canada. Um, it's Powhatan Village. So we're pretty far from civilization today. Just doing a little, little uh, off-grid camping, you know? So yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, go make a fort, maybe make a fire, get some dinner started. But yeah, as you can tell, man, nothing but woods out here, you know? Um, yeah, I did have to take a plane and everything, but I mean, there's nothing but animals out here. I mean, look around, nothing, you know? So we'll go ahead and get this fort started, get a fire going, maybe make some dinner. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm walking on this trail and you know, you never believe what I just found. So um, basically this is a uh, Powhatan moss. So it only grows in this part of Canada. And if you check it out, it actually has healing properties. So for example, I, I got a little little nick on my hand, so I'm gonna actually rub some of this um, uh, some of this moss in there. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh, these bugs are bad out here, man. But yeah, local to the area. Um, can't find it nowhere else on the earth. So yeah, I'll, I'm gonna keep a move on, try to get back to uh, my campsite and get that started. All right, see you guys. Alright, so, looks like we found a good spot to uh, make a fort, do a little bushcraft camping tonight. So, my uh, GoPro battery actually died, so I'm going to do a little off-camera um, fort building. So, I'll meet you back in about, uh, I don't know, give me an hour, hopefully I'll have something built, nice little shelter, but yeah, so, I guess I'll get on that. Alright guys, so... We're all packed out. I got the um, the fort built up, so if you check it out, got some walls. Um, it only took me about an hour to do a little off-camera building. So let me get up here and I'll show you around. So got my walls there. Um, some of my stuff from my bag fell over. This is my fire pit though. It's, it is ready to roll. Got my chair. Um, I actually built a bench there. So I had a little bit of free time. So we'll go ahead and get this fire show. You know, I'll uh, teach you guys how to build a, a nice warming fire because it, it is quite chilly out today. All right, guys. So up in northern Canada, um, the best fire starter you're going to get is going to be uh, birch, birch brook for, for absolute certain. I mean, you get a little bit of this. doesn't matter if it's raining, pouring. You're going to be able to start that fire. So whip out your trusty lighter. I know, survival guy, got to have a lighter. Of course, there's other ways you could do it, but I'm just going to whip out that lighter. Get this lid up here. Um, yeah, you're just gonna simply let that get caught a little bit. Put it down, grab the rest of your birch, put that on there, and then grab your kindling, of course. You always gotta have a nice pile of kindling. I'm gonna gently put it on there, and it should just catch. You know, you can give it a little extra, um, a little extra boost here with the lighter. So, this should get rid of all the bugs, and mosquitoes, anything you really don't want in your camp out, and this will, uh, so basically take care of those for you. So yeah, now we're just gonna wait for this to um, basically light on. And uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for two million subs. You guys have been outstanding. Um, I'm hoping to do a two week excursion out in the Alaska forest. So, you know, that should be a good time. Um, ever since my wife divorced me, I've had a lot more free time to make these videos for you guys. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. Make sure to like and subscribe. And, uh, oh, oh, oh.